since I started hammock camping, uh, I didn't really know how to make too many knots. Uh, in fact, the past uh, year I've learned how to make a series of knots to help me out during my uh, my travels. Uh, when I first started out, the only knot I really knew how to make was a slip knot. Now, a slip knot is nice, however, when tension hits the line, it gets tighter and tighter. And if it gets too tight, untying it is a pain in the ass. There's often times when you really want a knot that doesn't doesn't slip when tension hits the line. So, first knot I'm going to show you is called the bowline hitch. To create a bowline hitch, create a little loop. You take the tag end, pull it through the loop. Now you have a big loop and a small loop. Take that tag end again, drop it through the little loop again, and pull. As you can see, when tension hits the line, it's not going to slip on you. Do it again. Make it a little bigger this time, it's easier to, to see. Create a small loop. Take the tag end. Pull it through the loop. Now you have a big loop and a small loop. Go around and back through that small loop. Tighten it up. Bowline hitch. Second knot I'm going to show you is called the alpinus butterfly. Same like the bowline hitch, it does not slip when tension hits the line. To do it, wrap it around your hand once, go around your fingers, wrap it again towards your thumb in the middle. So now you have three lines, thumb, middle, fingers. Take the finger side, it's going to wrap around everything. And then, there it is, the alpinus butterfly. Do it again. Grasp it with your thumb, wrap it towards your fingers, wrap it in the middle. Take the line that's on your fingers, bring it around everything. There you go. Tension hits the line. That thing's not going anywhere. A pinus butterfly. Okay. Say you want to tie two separate pieces of rope together to make a longer uh, piece of rope. One way to do this is called square knot. Really simple to make. Take your right, cross it over your left. And you got that, you take your left, cross it over your right. Square knot. Tension hits the line. Doesn't go anywhere. It's like it's now one piece of rope. Do it again. Very simple. I like this one a lot. Take your right, cross it over your left, thread it through. Just like you're tying your shoes. Now take your left, cross it over your right, pull. When tension hits the line, this thing isn't going anywhere. Easy to undo too, is just push it forward, and it undoes itself. Easy peasy, Japanesey. <laughs> now I'm going to show you a knot that actually becomes undone very easily, and it's uh, used more frequently in uh, tying up your, uh, your flies. It's called a bunt line hitch. B-U-N-T line hitch. Bunt line hitch. So, after you've secured your item and you want to tie it off, you're going to throw it around once and then throw it behind it. So now, you have a crisscross. Take the top end, pull it up, and then drag the outside end. So now, you have a knot fairly it's very tight when tensions on it and you have a tag end which when pulled upon will release it instantaneously if you have children laying around 
and you feel that they're going to pull on this and take down your whole setup, take the tag in and pull it through so whenever they pull on it, it's just going to get tighter. To undo it, pull it, it's all done. Do it again, butt line hitch. Throw it around, then throw it over. You have the crisscross. Pull up the top end, pull this through, and there it is. You have the tag end around, pulling the tag end, everything comes undone. Easy peasy Japanesey. Alright, one more time just because I like doing this one. Throw it around once. Throw it around again behind it. Now you have the crisscross. Pull it up. Pull it through. There's your tag end. Pull it out. It's all undone.